Zookeeper. Awful. Simply awful. Um, there's no reason to make this movie other than to just make money. It's not entertaining. It's not funny. There isn't a legitimate joke in this entire movie. Um, I think the thing I was upset about was the fact that I did laugh at this movie. And the reason I laughed is because of how predictable the jokes were. Like, there's this one joke where the wolf's trying to teach uh, Kevin James's character how to mark his territory by peeing on things. So then I thought, oh, great, now the very next scene's going to be him pissing on something. And wouldn't you know it, there's like a palm tree and a bar that he's at, and he's taking a leak on it. He's like, oh, okay, they went there. Did that accomplish anything for the plot? No. Other than make him look like an idiot, because he's taking advice from zoo animals. Um, this, you know, this movie just has no basis in real life. Both of the girls that he's going after are way out of his league. Even the girl that he's, like, settling for is way out of his league. You know, Rosario Dawson, whom is a very beautiful and wonderful actress and has a lot to offer. I'm actually kind of upset that she's in this film. You know, like, Rosario, really? You got, you got plenty of other stuff to do. Go do a play on Broadway or something. She, uh, she's, like, the love interest that he settles for. And you don't even know, like, that she's interested in him until, like, three quarters of the way through the movie. Like, oh, that's where they're going to go at the end because she's not going to work out with the other chick who's, I forget her name, the, the girl from the first season of Lost who gets killed. Um... Anyway, like, both of them are way out of her, way out of this guy's league. Like, you know, this guy should be, this guy should be trying to, um, I don't know, he should be trying to impress, uh, you know, people that come into the zoo, or, you know, like, you know, girls that he meets at the zoo, I, I don't even know, like, people that he meets on the bus. He shouldn't be trying to, he shouldn't be trying to impress, like, this, this girl who's, like, a supermodel or whatever, you know, it's just, just let it go, it's, it's over, you know, you don't need her, um. And even the, you know, even the veterinary girl who he works with, she's like a doctor, you know? She's a doctor for, for animals. Like, she should have better sense. I don't know. I just see it as, it's unrealistic. It's just stupid. Um, I give this movie a 5 out of 10. I think it's crap. Uh, I hope I forget it by Monday. Um, you know, it took up some time. I didn't pay for it, thank God. But, uh, you know what? I, I'm sure this movie broke even. <laughs> and, and that's what makes me so mad. You know, if you're going to make a movie where your entire purpose is to really just make some money and break even and not tell an entertaining story, then do something different. Like, go make a sweatshop, you know? Go, uh, you know, go harvest uh, African diamonds uh, using, you know, using brutal tactics. You know what I'm saying? Like, go do something like that. So at least we all know what your purpose is. Don't try to fool us thinking you're trying to entertain people and then all of a sudden you're like, that was the worst movie I think that they put out. You know, I just, I don't know what's up with, with that group. You know, the Happy Gilmore group. They just, they're putting out crap. Absolute crap. And I just, I don't know where it's coming from. And Kevin James is not funny. I don't care what any of you have to say. He's just not funny. Nothing he does is funny. You know, he's, he's just not funny. <sighs> Zookeeper, crap. Don't go see it.